Welcome to my channel. My name is Norma with Mommy's Designs. In this channel, you're going to be learning how to make different DIYs that you can not only use them for your family and your friends, but you can also sell them. Let's not wait any longer and let's get to work. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create wood burning design. And we're going to be using a picture of a baby and we're going to be using the his information uh, how many pounds where was he born how his full name and how, how many inches long he was so for this video you're going to need your piece of wood and i'm going to put in the in the description box where i get everything with links so um i use uh, blue and yellow to get these like blue green and then you're going to need your picture frame which i got at the dollar tree and then with the little cardboard that comes with it, I I cut my image that I printed on, a, on an inkjet. And then you also gonna need a heart. Uh, and this one, I got it out of uh, a piece of transparency transparency film. Uh, you're gonna need your paste for to create the, the wood burning. You're gonna need a spatula and you're gonna need a hot air gun. So, um, to start, um, let me just tell you that I've been creating uh, a few items with these uh, stencils and I bought the machine and so you can personalize your stencils. It's almost like uh, screen printing, but you can do it from home. I have uh, two or three more videos before this one that you can check out so that you see how that works out. So that's all we're gonna need. Also, I'm gonna put this for sale on my eBay account. So I will go ahead and um, and put the, a link in the description box once I go ahead and do the listing. So uh, you're gonna be able to add anything on, on this part and give me the size of it. This one, I made it to fit exactly uh, my, my frame. So let's go ahead and start. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint my image on the on the other side and rather than do it with the brush that I can do uh, strikes like that I rather do it with these uh, sponges that I also got at the Dollar Tree um, I usually like to go to uh, the Dollar Tree like once a week so that I can um, see if they have anything new And I'm gonna go ahead and go a um, little deep so that I can get like a little frame on the other side. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish this and we're gonna go ahead and let it dry for about 20 minutes. So I will see you back. Okay, so the paint is already dry. So the next step we're gonna do, we gotta make sure that our area is clean. And now I'm gonna separate the backing from the stencil. And I did a cut right here, if you notice, so that I know where to put the, the stencil back into the liner, the, protect, the protector liner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull my stencil and I'm gonna place it where I think it's uh, in the middle. Here we go. They have stencils. The blue is for hard surfaces and the purple is for clothing, any kind of fabric. So here we go, there's my stencil. In the middle here, it has like a fine screen and that's why uh, it's um, it compares to a screen printing. So now I'm gonna get this, um, it's called Torch Paste. The company I got it from, I'm gonna put the link, uh, you can get 15% off if you buy the machine to make the screens or whatever you buy, but I got this one from them in case you want to buy it. If you don't want to buy the the kit to make this the stencils, you can easily uh, go on the bottom part where it says resources and there's people who are making this. I'm also going to be having a, this specific one on my eBay account. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, put the, the link as soon as I list it. So you're just gonna go over it and make sure that you get the, the paste inside. I'm gonna use uh, this little thing because the little spatula is it's not going in. Okay, 
think I, I got it. And now I'm gonna scrape the residue and put it back in the jar. There we go. So I already put in on other videos how I watch them. So I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, uh, set it aside and wash it in a minute. But now it's time to go ahead and pull this thing. So we're going to go ahead and pull it. And can you see like the right there? Okay. Now we're going to get our gun and we're going to turn it. This one has a... Uh, speed one and speed two i'm going to start with the speed two so we're just going to go directly into the the paste on top of the, the letters see right there it's already turning dark If you go closer, it gets darker. And I think I want to accomplish a finish that it's uh, lighter on one side, on some sides, and darker on the other one. I think I kind of like that look. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I think it looks pretty cool. So this is the other side. And this is the front part. And I like that some areas are darker than the other ones. So I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. And you can either put resin over it. I decided that I'm not gonna put resin over, over it this time. I'm gonna be using this um, crystal clear. And I'm gonna go outside and spray it. I cannot spray it in, in here. So I'm gonna go spray it and I'll be right back. Here we go. I am very happy with the results. Look at, uh, it gave it some shine. And a finish. So basically, what I the last thing that I need to do, it's uh, go ahead and put the the picture here. I already cut the heart with the trans uh, transparent paper or tape or film, and I'm just gonna put them together. And um, you can sell these. Um, stay until the end of the video because I'm gonna go ahead and and um and put a breakdown if you wanna go ahead and sell them. This is a very nice um gift for a newborn baby okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and put the film inside just like that and then i'm gonna put the image here we go and then i'm gonna put the the cardboard facing this facing in to offer uh to give it more protection come on baby come on And then we're just gonna go ahead and bring it down. And I chipped that a little bit. Need to fix it. So here we go. So now if you wanna get the little stand, you're just gonna go in there. And there it is. There's your image. So here's the breakdown. Okay, you guys, I hope you liked that video. Make sure you you see the other videos that I created that talks about the stencils if you are interested in that. Other than that, uh, that's all for me today. My, may the Lord bless you today and every day. And until next time, thank you.